And welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved, where I've been busy in the north. Just going after lots and lots of penguins. I just went up there. I just started hugging. I just started hugging penguins. I didn't do anything, guys. I didn't. I swear. I hugged them. Just been hugging penguins like crazy and getting polymer from them. <laughs> there's a monkey over here, I just noticed, too. I don't know how they got them. I think they spawned in here somehow because there's a pair of Ceratherium. I hear just walking around here, too. There it is. They always just get in my base. I don't think he walked in here. I think those two actually spawned in here. I don't know how, but they did. But, uh, yeah. So I went up there because I had tons of cementing paste. I had the metal. We're actually completely out of metal. I used all of it. And I had tons of polymer from hugging penguins. And then I used that to fix all of our weapons that we needed. Uh, like our machine gun that we used to shoot up that T-Rex. I, I finally fixed our rocket launcher so because we're going caving today and I want to be prepared for anything but first things first we have to take care of some stuff so that's why I'm naked and I got this club I got two alphas to go take care of so it's just gonna be like one real quick I just gotta whack them a couple times and we're done right right did you guys hear me when I said I had two alphas that's right I don't know if I actually said two alphas there's an alpha raptor here and there's an alpha carno out there so we're not going here that would be just nuts I'm not that crazy guys I leveled up though. We're gonna go with uh, Fortitude. A, because it might help in the Swamp Cave maybe, and also it's gonna help with the Snow Cave. And then we'll see if we really need to do the Mind Wipe or not. So we're gonna learn this, and I think that was about it. I definitely think we're gonna definitely, definitely gonna need some of that. And I'm gonna take, ooh, I'm gonna take the Pebbles out. They're not quite there. It's too Wilma maybe? Fred's already 102. Wilma could do some damage. Well, Mike, you got food on you? Yeah, just in case. Let's do this. All right. Yeah, I was like coming back because I got back, and then I was like, you know what? We should probably make some backup armor, just in case. And I need scuba gear for that. So I had the polymer, but I had to go get silica pearls for the goggles, I believe. I had like two silica pearls short. So I went up there, and I came back, and I was flying over, and I saw this alpha raptor. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And all of a sudden I saw there was an Alpha Carno eating a Brontal up there. And I was like, no way. Two Alphas in one area? What are the odds? Ridiculously high. Oh, this is a nice looking one too. Look at that. There's the Alpha Carno. He's all black with the red or pink or hot pink, whatever you want to call that. Oh, I wish we could tame those things. That one's pretty good. What level is that one? 30? Oh my goodness. All right. Let's do this. It's going after all the compies. <laughs> well, I just took them out, but... You know what I mean. Alright. This scene is ridiculous. And now the raptors are all jumping in. Okay. I think we can take this one. It's just a matter of if we can actually... Oh my goodness. What are you doing, Wilma? <laughs> well, there's a hill. Uh, not getting both involved. I'd rather not have to fight two alpha carno... Or alpha creatures at once. So we can take out this raptor, which should be pretty quick. And I would have took out, like, Big Red just to get this done quicker. What did we get? A primitive simple pistol and an apprentice middle sickle. <sighs> really? I kind of wanted something like a little bit more substantial, but that's fine. I guess. It was a low level one. Alright, how much did you do? Oh my goodness, quite a bit. Uh, 500 damage? Over 500 damage. Alright, let's go ahead and pump your melee. Get that up over 200. Just spam some meats real quick, because this carno is a lot tougher. And then we'll see how well you do there. You should be able to do it pretty fairly easy. But yeah, we'll take out these guys. I would have used the Giganto. I would have been using Big Red, but it's kind of iffy with these loot drops. Sometimes you kill the dinosaur and they get the loots. And sometimes you kill the dinosaur and the loot's still in the body. And I'd rather not risk these alpha loots because they could get really, really good stuff. I'm going to eat your jerks because you wanted to fight. Alright. Let's do this. Get a little close. Do one of these. Call him out. He didn't take the bait, so we're gonna go after him. Gotta kinda conserve the stamina. And let's do this. <gasps> First blood. <sighs> okay. But yeah, we should be pretty well ready. Oh my goodness, he's like literally inside us. There we go. Get out of there. <laughs> Get this raptor. Yeah, I think this is our only second Alpha Carnal I've ever had to fight in this game. We've done lots of Raptors, but Carnals are kind of more rare. Same with T-Rexes, which is, I guess, a good thing. I'd rather not have to fight Alpha T-Rexes all the time. <laughs> that would be crazy. 
Oh my goodness, it's in the again, but I think we're getting it in the butt. Okay, you got stamina okay. Health's almost halfway gone, but that's fine. Take a little rest after this, Wilma. Come here, you jerk. Yeah, I have, I don't know if I ever told you this story, but one time I had a really bad incident with an Alpha Carno. It was like right after they came out, and so I've already found an Alpha Raptor, and I knew it was there because it was red, but the trouble was this Carno, it wasn't glowing red. It was like just a normal Carno, and so it kept sneak attacking, killing me. I was like, what the heck? And then I finally found it. Primitive. Ooh, Apprentice Hide. Wow, we got a lot of stuff. Apprentice Pike. Oh my goodness, I'm just gonna take this all. This, this Stego's coming after me. Get him, Wilma. Get him. Get him. Thank you, girl. Alright. Eat you too. We got a lot of stuff from that guy, to be honest. There's a lot of loot on him. Okay. Let's just eat that guy. I don't know if I'm gonna cook it. I have so much meat already. Okay. What did we get? We got that from him. So we got more arrows. A primitive crossbow. Another primitive crossbow. I got an apprentice pike, which is not bad. What is this one? Apprentice 76, 138. Um, so this one has a little more durability and just a little less damage, but that durability might be helpful. And then we got a primitive bow, an apprentice metal pick, nice. And then we got primitive hide. Oh, uh, this is why we want to go in this cave. We need some better gear to go after these caves. So let's go ahead, keep pumping one, ooh, two, ooh, three, ooh, four, four levels. Very nice, Wilma. How's your health? 1,000. Wow, he knocked over 1,000 health off of you. Wowza. Alright, let's go home. I'm going to make some bug repellent. And then I think that was the last thing. I just wanted to show you that I leveled up hugging so many penguins. Literally, so many penguins. By the way, the wiki says, because I was curious about this, for the polymer, they say the sword and the club are the best tools for gathering but to be honest it's a lie <laughs> the club is by far the best like I killed so many penguins and then I used the sword on like a bunch of them and I barely got any from each one of them I get like two three maybe four but I'd use the club it's a lot slower especially if you got a primitive one like me but I was getting tons like I get around average eight to ten uh, polymer organic polymer per penguin instead of that and then one penguin I got I think it was 16 organic polymer from one penguin with a club that was amazing I need it I need a bigger space but it's getting ridiculous here it's ridiculous alright let's park you and I'm gonna go take care of some stuff close the gate before anything else shows up and be right back alright we got a little bit of a situation come out here getting ready to go and there's two t-rexes there's a level 43 female over there and there's another one over here They're a little too close to my base plus if I'm gonna have to run back in this cave I'd rather not have to deal with them with later so we got big red <laughs> big red can deal with these guys it's gonna give them a little friendly oh, don't eat me eat them a little shot and they should don't eat me don't eat me protect me big red there you go, bite her, and then she's not gonna like you. Right? Alright. I thought I had you. There we go. Attacked my target, but apparently that wasn't the case. I think you were on passive, actually. Level 5. Got it. Anything good? Arrows. I'm gonna need those since I just wasted one on your butt. And then we're gonna go. Come on, Big Red. One more to go. Now, I don't know if I mentioned that I don't have much food in my system because I realized if I have to down like 20 of these uh, uh, healing medicines, I'd rather have no hunger so that I could actually eat them rather than wait for me to have hunger when I don't need to wait. You know what I mean. Alright, come on. Come on. Where did he... Oh, he got stuck on the rocks. They're one weakness, like I told you. <laughs> oh, it came right over the rocks. Get a big red. This is going to give some XP's. One day, Big Red, we'll have a saddle and we'll ride you. Nice. Alright, this one have anything good on him? Nothing, you must have got it. Alright. I literally have so much meat that I have no room in my fridge. So all I did was, uh... Might as well pump that, why not? I <laughs> oh, you could use some meat, though. Um, 
I literally have to have to smoke to a little bit here. Okay. Feel this meat just right here. Beautiful. Okay, here you go. She's just a little bit too far from the feeding trough, so every once in a while I have to feed her. Alright, Big Red. I'm going to go put her back, and then we're definitely doing this cave thing. Definitely. I swear, this is the last Alpha Raptor I'm killing today. I swear. <laughs> I almost, almost made it. I forgot the bug spray. I come back home, and I'm about to leave again. And I saw this red right over here where we we're at. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. What are the odds? What are the odds? Alright, the Stego wants some too, I guess. I accidentally bitted. Take out this raptor real quick. There we go. Oh shoot. I may have ate the raptor. Did you get the stuff? Please tell me you got some stuff. No! This is why you have to be careful with them. Oh, I got a hat. My luck, I probably would have got something really cool from them. Oh man. That sucks. Alright, well. I'm going to drop off Wilma again. And then we should be able to get some loots to make up for that in this cave. Alright. Ready. Set. Go. I, I think the game's trying to tell me it doesn't want me to go in this cave. It feels like I'm about to do something amazing. And it's like, no. Cannot let him into the caves. <laughs> Alright, so I got the bug repellent. It's actually not bad in here. It's actually kind of cool tonight, so I'll hold off on using the uh, super sauce, uh, vegetarian soup, until it gets really, really bad. But before it gets crazy and I stumble across something, we're going to take one of these. There we go. That's going to last 597. Nice. Okay. So take one of those. I got enduro stew, but the plan is to avoid the dragonflies. I do not have enough ammo, probably, to kill every single thing in this cave. The guns are an emergency case. We're kind of trying to be passive, probably, in this one. Um, if we find something that we can maybe kill, I'll do it. That's why I brought... Uh, I didn't want to drink that. I keep thinking it's my other thing. Uh, seven is our grappling hook, so we won't have that ready. Because if we need to... Look at all these dragonflies. If we have to, I can cling to the ceiling, and I can shoot spiders and scorpions and maybe what else there is. It's just the flyers we're not going to be able to kill. I mean, look at this massive amount of dragonflies out here. The minute I shoot one of these, they'd all come at me. And I just don't want to have to repair and do all my rocket launchers. I only have one extra rocket launcher. Let's go this way. I like this cave, though. Now that we're actually inside the cave, it's much nicer. Now, I am curious... <gasps> There's a loot drop right there. Can I harvest stuff in here? Like, can I harvest these mushrooms? No, I cannot harvest mushrooms. Apparently I can harvest this. Yeah, this is a rock we can harvest. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and get the gravel hook out again. There's water in here, which is great. I thought about bringing building supplies to make like a little emergency base in here. Um, what did we get? A primitive stego saddle. Sweet. I don't even have a stego. I got those already, those saddle blueprints. Well, that's cool that there's water in here and there's actually stone. Oh, and there's plants too. So we can get some fiber if we wanted. What else is in here? But the problem was I don't know where all these loot drops are. And so until we actually kind of master and figure out where the things drop in these caves, I don't want to be building any base and cancel out one or two of them. Oh, there's got to be one up here. It's so shiny. Oh, <gasps> there is. There's another gold one. Better be something better than that last one. An apprentice pulling a scorpion saddle. That's not too bad. I do have quite a few saddles. Or I mean scorpions. And a, you know, a nice apprentice saddle would be pretty cool. I don't know if I'd ever need to use them again. But just in case. They actually kind of get... What is this? They kind of sometimes get in the pickle where they're sometimes picked on. Because they're kind of far from everything else. Every once in a while a rafter tries to get in there. Oh, I see another drop in here. These just don't look like right though. There's a spider or two right there too, and I don't want to deal with those. You can't get too close. Remember, we can passive tame with the, you know, the bug spray, but you have to get, you know, you gotta keep your distance. Oh, there's another one in here. Please don't be any piranhas. Those don't look like mushrooms. Those look like eggs. 
Oh my goodness, an assault rifle. An apprentice level assault rifle. This was the most primitive I just found. Let's load that puppy up. Very nice. Okay, let's get this crossbow out again. Make sure that there's so many dragonflies though. Literally, they're like landmines. The minute you attack one of them, they're all gonna come after me. So we have to be careful if we do fight not to hit one of them. So far, the bug spray I think's working. Oops. <laughs> Those. I can't harvest them. Those look like eggs, judging by the webbing, too. There better not be. Oh my goodness. A Mastercraft rocket launcher? Loading you up. Holy cow, we're finding some nice guns in here. This is going to be great. We need these things if we're going to go after the snow cave. Because the snow cave, we can't we can't be passive in that one. There's no way to be passive without using tons and tons of grappling hooks, I'm afraid. So we have to be aggressive. There's a spider right there. Oh, I don't know if I want to go that close. I think we can get past it. There is a lot. I'm going to gamma up a little bit more. 2.9 That didn't really help Gamma 3 We're just going to go for 3 It's not really helping, it's kind of foggy There's so many dragonflies in here Alright, so we got a little cavey thing we can hide into This leads out to Some giant mushrooms Whoa, look at those, can we harvest those things? Blue drop. Yeah, ramshackle slingshot. That's what I wanted. <laughs> can we harvest these? No, we cannot harvest those. Oh my goodness, another one just spawned. What do we get? A blue pit for a ramshackle hide, I guess, if I ever lost mine. You need another one? You need another one? Alright, so the waters. So far, there's been one in that water in the mushroom room. I don't know where I'd build it to be honest. Alright, so let's just follow this. I think that's gonna loop us back. Oh, there's so many dragonflies. Loop us right back to kind of where we started maybe? This is a crazy looping cave. Yeah, there's the waters that we started on. Okay. So I could maybe build one in here maybe. It'd be near water, near the entrance. I could put some beds in here, extra gear if we needed to. Just see if anything spawns here though before I do that. Like I said, we're probably gonna have to get couple trips. What do you think? I think no, we're good. We're going to push our luck a little bit. I can carry a few more things. Let's see if I can get a couple more things before I have to go out because of my weight and before this stuff wears off. Luckily, it's not too hot. Okay, so we went left there. Let's see what's right. That just kind of makes me nervous that there's those giant eggs floating on that ceiling. If I go this way, oh, this takes us back to the mushroom room. Alright, we might as well go back into the mushroom. Is there. Okay, so that's exit. Over here was the cave we came out of. Okay, so this is dead. This is done. This loops back around this way. So let's go down the middle one then. There's a middle way. Oh, this is going very well, very well. <laughs> We're not dying from the environment, which is great. The bug repellent seems to be doing its job. There's nothing in the water, which I'm loving. I would hate to have to have, like, spiders and stuff in this cave. I mean, not spiders, uh, piranhas and snakes. But I think only bugs can live in here because of the environment. So what's this way? Have I already been here? I did, I passed by it. Oh, that's right, that loops around. Okay, so this is not a very big cave, to be honest. Unless I miss something. Or it's supposed to be very, very deadly and something's supposed to be spawning here in the middle here. I want to check over here on these walls real quickly. No, there's nothing here. There's no secret loot spots back here. There's more rocks we can smack. I don't know why you would need a torch in here. Maybe, you know, you can't harvest the wood, so you'd have to bring wood and everything else in here. I think that's it, guys. 
that's the end of this cave. It's one big loop at least, so you don't have to worry about getting kind of uh, caught in the back someplace or a dead end. Very sweet. Okay, I'm gonna go and try. Oh my goodness, I just found some more loot. Oh, I just said it, and now there's a dead end back here. What's in this one? Oh wait, this is the this is the thing we've been looking for. This is it, artifact of the immune. It weighs five pounds, found with the depths of the island. Only one of these can be carried at a time. Yeah, that's fine. Oh my goodness, and they already respawned. But I can't cack it. All right, so there is a dead end you have to be careful of, which has the artifact. I got so excited about getting in this cave and living that I completely forgot that we had to look for something. So the, at the end of the the egg room we have to go up there and we have to get the artifact. Okay, so I don't think I'll need more than one or two but I'm definitely going to start looting the heck out of this place. This is a nice cave. I mean, I don't mind having to wear all the gear and the bug repellent's easy to fix. It just uses pelts, so that's a little bit of a pain to get, but I can get more pelts easily enough. But the snow biome... Oh, did we get another one? No, why is it blue here? It seems like there'd be something here, but it's not. Like, if nothing spawns here, you could always wall off a tunnel if you wanted to, but this one doesn't seem too bad. I, then again, I got a little lucky in that <laughs> there's not a lot of bugs in here except for the dragonflies. That seems to be it, guys. Alright, I'm going to go head home because my stuff's about to wear off like any second now. I'm going to take another one just to make sure. Oh, I can't take another one. <gasps> Get away from those guys. Alright, I'm going to take another one. I'm going to go home, drop off all of this amazing loot we just got, and then I am going to see about coming back in the cave and seeing if it's going to be the same situation. And if so, then I'm going to try to loot it some more, and then I'll come back with all the stuff I'm finding. I'm being assaulted by a Dilo! I came outside the cave, and there was a level 55 scorpion. And I thought maybe it would leave me alone because of the bug spray. It didn't. And it stung me, and I just finally killed it, luckily enough. Why did the Dilo stop attacking me? Eat, yes, eat. Oh my goodness. Axe inventory. Anything good? Nothing. You jerk. And yeah, all of a sudden, uh, I got knocked out, but and then the dilo was attacking me. 55! I think the dilo kind of distracted it. Alright, I need some chitin real quick. Yeah, I thought that was <laughs> the weirdest thing. Alright, going back in the cave soon. Okay. So, the bug repellent, I don't know if it actually affects scorpions. <laughs> I instantly didn't even hear, see the scorpion, and he started coming after me. And uh, I don't even know what level he is. He's down there. I left my magnifying. I looted. I just got here. I got so far an apprentice chitin helmet and a ramshackle rocket launcher. I am just finding rocket launchers like crazy. But if I remember correctly, I should be able to shoot while using that. The trouble is he's like right underneath me. So I don't know how well I'm going to be able to shoot at him. Hmm. So he's kind of training for when we go in the snow cave. Like, I can get him, I guess, if he swings around. It's just a matter of having enough food. Oh, he stopped. Um, so if we have that situation, maybe I should bring, like, pillars and platforms. So I could, like, jump from one platform to the other, shoot from underneath. Because if I keep having to do this, I have to get lucky with them keep going in circles, kind of. Or maybe build some walls or railings. Hmm. That could be another thing. Otherwise, I'm not going to get... Look at this. How many shots I put into this thing. I should just use a rocket launcher, but... I feel like I might need to use that ammo <laughs> for the snow cave more so than this one. But yeah, they seem to respond. Uh, some of it... Oh, let's move it again. Oh, I missed that one. Yeah, this is going to be tricky fighting the snow cave. As long as they keep going in circles, I'm fine. Otherwise, I have to use... The grappling hook to try to swing around? I don't know how well that would work, too. I might have to go practice with the grappling hook. Just get, like, hooks. Um, maybe I could use one grappling hook and then use another crossbow with another grappling hook so I don't have to... Oh, we're going to have to test that one. I'm not risking dying. 
Boom, 209. Oh my goodness, and they just ate it. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, <laughs> what? What? That didn't work too well, did it? They, oh my goodness. As soon as I killed that and I ate it, they all came after me for some reason. Why would they do that? Oh man, alright. Well, this is why I got backup gear. That was weird. As soon as I saw them coming up here, I just panicked and I froze. I should have started running. I really should have. Do I need anything in here? A couple of those. I didn't even have a chance to eat any of those. Just froze. I need my extra rocket launcher, my extra armor in here. My extra ghillie armor. This is why I have all this extra stuff. Extra ghillie armor is in the extra extra armor. There we go. Put those on. And then I'm going to need definitely a rocket launcher. Which I think I put in here. So that's kind of a weird mechanic. That as soon as they went hostile, they decided to come after me like that. Um, bug repellent taking all that just in case and then I need some more stimulant and then let's see if I can go get my stuff back oh my goodness I got it guys I just barely got my stuff oh shoot oh shoot dragonflies the dragonflies <laughs> they were all like all like frozen exactly after I killed them and so it looked like a giant pyramid of freaking dragonflies pointing down to my stuff and then there was the two spiders I got as close as I could and I still couldn't reach my items so the very last second I like just hurried up and moved just like a tiny bit closer those dragonflies aren't following me are they and they instantly just all like the spiders well the dragonflies were fine the spiders just instantly all of a sudden they're like Ing it! and I was like oh shoot grabbed my stuff and I ran the heck out of there because luckily the, the dragonflies didn't attack me. So only after you kill something do the dragonflies kind of react, which is so weird. But I guess, like, like I said, they're like landmines. You literally do not want to set one off because you're going to get blown up because the whole field is full of them. All right, I'm going to continue looting very carefully. Yeah, this is that one scorpion and two spiders. So don't go near the bugs. And if you're going to kill something, I don't know, take it into a corner and kill it so that the dragonflies don't... Oh, shoot. The spider's right there. Nope, 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 nope. This is the craziest cave ever. <laughs> oh, good. Load it again. I literally should just sit here all day long. Oh, primitive. I don't want that. This is a really cool cave, though. I'm liking it. All right, so what have I gotten so far? I got an uh, Stego, Ramshackle Cloth, Apprentice Chitin, I got the Rocket Launcher, and that was it. All got my extra gear, my extra rocket launchers and stuff. Oh my goodness, yes. Be prepared, and be very careful where you step in this cave. It's going to be completely different in the next one. We're just going to go nutso. Especially since I got a freaking Mastercraft Rocket Launcher. I was not expecting that. That is like the coolest thing ever I've found. <laughs> What's well, the highest too? I found journeymen, as we know, crossbows and stuff. Okay, which way was I supposed to? I am lost again. I am just all frazzled. Actually, I think that's the exit. I think it is. Actually, I don't think that is the exit. Yes, it is. This is where I came to go get my stuff. All right, yeah. I'm out of here though. I got too much good stuff. I'm gonna keep farming this though. It's very, very precarious, but um, last minute here, we're gonna go back home and I'm gonna compare the primitive cr uh, rocket launcher and my other uh, rifles to those new ones we just got. Alright, here we go. So here's the primitive one that I can make. 50 durability, 100 weapon, which is I think 1,500 damage, or was that C4? I can't remember what the base damage is, but there it is. And then here's the Ramshackle with 110.9 durability, so you get maybe... Well, yeah, you definitely get twice as many shots with that, so that's really good. And then it got 127.9 damage. And then we have the Ramshackle, or the Mastercraft. 139.5, so 
So you can get almost three times as many shots, and then 176.7% damage, which is nuts. So just completely nuts. So right there. And then here's the primitive one I found in a drop. 100. Or let's see, 49.3 uh, durability, 112.7% damage, and 40 ammo clip. Same clip, 56.1. So not a lot more durability but 158 damage is pretty impressive so that'd be pretty nice against like um like the wolves and stuff things that we can hide from and shoot up and just shoot 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 but there we go guys the only other thing i think of with dealing with the scorpion and the spiders which i just thought of coming out is c4 because you can place the c4 and then as soon as you detonate the one it'll blow up whatever you want so you can like blow up the spiders and then use the second C4 to blow up all the dragonflies while they're eating the body of said thing that you blew up with the first C4. That's the only thing I can think of to combat the effects of those dragonflies swarming you. Is, you know, that or two rocket launchers. Shoot the one, blow up the bugs, and then shoot the other one when they're all clustered and kill the dragonflies. It's the only thing I can think of. There you go, guys. We made it. We made it into the cave. We made it out of the cave. Made it back into the cave. Almost made it out of the cave, and then made it a third time. But we did it. We did it. So it's very, very careful of cave. But I will see you guys next time. Oh, I forgot. I got a Journeyman ankle, Ankleo saddle, too. I don't know when I got that. I think it was in a drop. But, uh, yeah. Awesome.